um, the choirs have a lot of accomplishments that I want to make sure everybody knows about. Um, we have individual Allstate and group Allstate. It's kind of like athletics in the sense that there are regional events and Allstate events for choir. And at these events, there are judges and rubrics. And if, if you attain a certain score or a certain ranking, you then move on. So back in November, um, we did a choir, um, uh, well, we had our choir regionals and we had auditions, individual students auditioned um, and were given scores and the highest scores then go on to regionals and the highest of those scores go on to state. And so we had two students that made the individual all-state choirs and that took place last um, Thursday and Friday. They rehearsed for over 10 hours in that time and then they had a performance of their music. The uh, SATB choir had um, Ethan Vaughn in it and the SSAA choir, so soprano, soprano, alto, alto, and soprano, alto, tenor, bass, um, <laughs> Ryan James was in it. Both of those are seniors here, and um, so they both were able to go and represent our school. Once you make the all-state choir, you just go and you participate. So it's, uh, uh, because it's, a, it's an honor. Also, they will graduate with the distinction because of making the all-state choir. Okay, so the Allstate concert, where was this at? Where was it held? Great question. At the Opryland Hotel and Conference Center. So we were, we had the opportunity to stay at the Opryland Hotel and also um, there, they have a lot of different areas within the hotel for their conference center and they had rehearsals there. During that time, we also had the opportunity, um, music teachers um, from throughout the estate uh, had professional development. So during that time I was able to attend some professional development, also see some college level uh, professional conductors work with these high school students as well. And so I was able to also benefit from the time. Have they got a big stage, a big amphitheater? or what Yeah, kind of so uh, the way that it's set up, um, there are huge ballrooms within the convention center and those huge ballrooms can be put into smaller areas or larger areas. So they have them sectioned off for smaller areas for the rehearsals but then when it was time for the concerts they opened up all of the the huge and it was in the tennessee ballroom which is one of the convention center areas so how many singers were all together how many all state are there in the whole state? so uh for the satb choir i believe there were um approximately 150 in that choir uh -huh. then there's an ssaa choir that has i think 120 and then 120 so from across the state I guess if I could do my math quick, uh, it's around 400 or wow. so Allstate so singers. In layman terms, what do you have to do? How do you achieve the Allstate status? Sure. So um, you prepare two songs uh, and you learn your part in that song. So if you sing soprano, alto, tenor, or bass, you learn your part. You go and you go to an audition. There will be uh, teachers, choir teachers in there. There, will, there are a total of uh, five teachers. So you get five different scores. They drop the highest and lowest score. Those three middle scores are um, are then averaged and that gives you your score and that puts you in a ranking. Mm -hmm. And then the higher your ranking, obviously, the more accomplishment that you are able to do. So they announced the first and um, we had, we actually did an article about those that um, went to the uh, regional festival, which is um, which was at Lee University this year. And I think we had that 10 to 12 students go to that. We also had some freshmen that were able to go to the freshman honor choir for that. Um, and then from those scores, from their original audition, the very highest scores then um, qualify for Allstate. Okay, so these were the auditions from way back then? Yes. Okay, wow. Yep. So it's all connected. It's finally paying off. Yep, yep. <laughs> well, you, did you watch the performance? I assume you went and watched the performance. Absolutely. How was um, it? How? It, was, it was magnificent. It really was. Uh, the, the, the tenor, tenor, bass, bass choir performed first, and then the uh, SSAA choir, and then the SATB choir. Uh, I actually, I got to play the cowbell um, oh. for one of the songs oh, for wow. the SATB choir. 
That's so, the reason I was going to ask you, did you find yourself trying to direct? Or yes, or yes. So, um, honestly, uh, it, it's really nice at, at Allstate to sit back and, and really just enjoy uh, the magnificent music that uh, is performed at that level, as you can imagine, with um, the best singers from across the state. What has this experience meant to you? Uh, uh, it's meant a lot to me because, um, I don't know, I love singing in the choir, and I think going to be with all the people who are like the best out of the state is just a really cool experience. You get to work with some really cool people, and you're around um, a lot of people who care just as much about it as you do, so it's just a really good experience with a lot of fun people, a lot of new people. Now, you were in a choir with 150 people? Yeah. Could you hear your voice in that loud boom? Not really. <laughs> um, I tried to, but then there were a lot of, like, tenors especially sing extremely loud, and uh -huh. so I could not hear myself. Was there ever any moments where you were, like, your small section was 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 going and everybody else was quiet do they I know they got kind of yeah well there was this one piece where like um, my section kind of just opened it like by itself and so we all had kind of a solo but mm -hmm. it was still really loud. well have you ever performed in a in a venue that large before um, well I went to Allstate last year too yeah. and so um, yeah I guess probably well, not. well just what does it feel like when you're standing there on the stage and you're looking up into this massive audience what's going through your mind I'm just excited. It's really yeah. fun to just have that many people there supporting you. I yeah. Guess. You know, no stage fright or worried about. Your... Not real well, because you're not by, there by yourself. Like yeah. it's, there, you're there with 150 other people who are doing the same thing. So. If you if you messed up, you could kind of blend in, I guess. Yeah, you can lip sync <laughs> if you have to. <laughs> <laughs> what What are your plans? Are you going to go to college and, and perform also, or? Yes. So um, I'm going to MTSU as a recording instrument major. Ah. And I have a minor in piano performance, but uh -huh. I'm also going to sing in the choir there. Okay, that's awesome. All right, well, good luck with that. When I got the the text message saying that I made it into Allstate, I literally cried because yeah. last year I didn't even make All East. So mm. it was just the biggest honor to be selected out of a handful of people to make it into this choir. And how many people were in the overall choir that you performed in? In SSAA, there's about 150 girls out of all of East Tennessee. But of my part specifically, there's about 50 of us. Oh, wow. So how, what was that like to be part of such a big group? It was so nice because it was like we're able to hear more than just like one voice sticking out. It was able to blend easier. There's a lot more talent. It was just mm -hmm. amazing. It was just the biggest like joy and the best experience I could have possibly asked for to be selected for just this big honor. Let me ask you to brag on yourself a little bit. Okay. What do you think it was about you and your abilities that put you at this elite level? I feel like the biggest thing that helped me this year was my sight reading. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I'm a pretty good singer, but I feel like my sight reading just helped me to put over the top. Okay. And the actual concert itself, did they pick songs that you enjoyed singing? Oh, yes. Parting Friends is definitely my favorite. Yeah. Okay. And um, now, what do you plan? Do you plan on doing anything with this in the future? I do. I plan on majoring in elementary education and musical theater in mm -hmm. the future. So maybe I can do a little bit of theater and maybe some teaching on the side. Okay. That sounds like fun. All right, is there anything else that you wanted to say about this experience? If you even think about auditioning for All East and All State, do it, because if you can make it, there's so many talented people to work with, and it just gives you so many new experiences and skills and connections that you wouldn't have had before. That's so awesome. Definitely do it.